Hello and welcome to Bioinformatics and Computational Biology Lectures. This is Lecture 2 in the Reverse Vaccinology series. In this lecture, we will talk about retrieval of protein sequences from different databases, then selection of proteins that are best for designing uh, a vaccine, and then the prediction of cytotoxic T lymphocyte epitopes for those proteins, and then selection of the best uh, CTL epitopes for designing a vaccine. So how we will uh, pro collect our proteins? The first thing is that uh, we down we will download all of the proteome up in uh, organism. Proteome is the set of complete uh, proteins uh, of an organism. We will collect the complete proteome from National Center for Biotechnology Information Database and Uniprot Database. Of these proteins, we will select only the structural proteins. As I said in earlier lectures, the structural proteins are uh, most suitable for vaccine designing as these are the first proteins that come in contact with the uh, host cells. Then we will check the antigenicity of those uh, proteins. The antigenic potential of these proteins will be uh, checked using Vexigen server. And then the proteins that are antigenic will be used to predict CTL epitopes. NetCTL 1.2 server will be used for prediction of the CTL epitopes. Then we will select uh, the best CTL epitopes based on these three different parameters antigenicity, immunogenicity, and toxicity. That means that the, the CTL epitopes that we will be selecting must be antigenic, immunogenic, and non toxic at the same time. This is how we will get our final cytotoxic T lymphocyte epitopes for vaccine designing. So in this uh, lecture in the reverse vaccinology series we will be designing B and T cell multi epitope subunit vaccine for SARS coronavirus. Before we move on to designing the B and T cell multi epitope subunit vaccine for SARS coronavirus 2, we will talk a little bit about the SARS coronavirus and its proteins. So first as of 12 January 2020, five complete genomes of SARS coronavirus 2 had been sequenced by the, um, in Wuhan uh, by the uh, Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention and other institutions in, in China. The number of uh, genomes sequenced um, as of uh, 30th January uh, increased to 42. In the PubMed database, we have eight, eight 42 publications uh, on the uh, SARS coronavirus 2 as of 20th January 2020. In this tutorial, I will be using the spike protein to design the B and T cell multi epitope subunit vaccine for SARS coronavirus 2. So, what is this spike protein? The spike protein is used by the um, SARS coronavirus to bind to the uh, ACE2 human receptor and then uh, invade the human cells. This spike protein have an RBD domain that is used to bind to the angiotensin converting enzyme to receptor present on the lung cell. The complete genome of uh, SARS coronavirus had been sequenced and available in the NCBI data bank, uh, data bank that we will be collecting using this uh, ID MN908947. In SARS coronavirus, other than the non-structural proteins, we have four structural proteins that includes uh, the spike protein, as I told you, which is used to bind to the uh, human receptor. And we will be using the spike protein in this tutorial to predict the CTL epitopes and then select the best CTL epitopes. So first we will know a little bit about how the SARS coronavirus 2 enters the human cells. This uh, virus uses the spike protein uh, to bind to the uh, receptor present on the uh, human uh, cells. And then this, uh, once it binds to the uh, human uh, cells, the virus is internalized uh, by the endocytosis uh, process. Once uh, this virus uh, reaches uh, the inside the cell, it's a viral RNA. The RNA is uh, released. And this RNA is uh, replicated and uh, translated uh, to synthesize the viral proteins. These uh, viral RNA, uh, the replicated viral RNA is then enclosed in the viral uh, capsid. 
uh, after um, it is uh, after that it and the virus particles are released and these and new viral particles are ready to infect other cells so as i told you that in pubmed database we have 842 papers as you can see here mm, on the sars coronavirus 2 one of these paper is this one the complete genome uh, characterization of novel coronavirus associated with severe human respiratory disease in Wuhan, China. The authors in this publication have sequenced the complete uh, genome of the SARS coronavirus 2 and also aligned the RBD domain of the spike protein. As you can see here, the spike protein RBD domain is aligned to uh, other related viruses such as the bad coronavirus and the SARS coronavirus from the 2002-2003. As you can see on the 470 position, this valine insertion is considered to be uh, important and related to this uh, recent outbreak of the SARS coronavirus 2. And then we have uh, another publication that is the cryo EM structure of the 2019 NCOV spike protein and the perfusion confirmation. The authors in this paper have actually uh, made the uh, crystallographic image of the spike protein. In the spike protein, crystallographic image is available on the uh, protein data bank, as I will show you. Here, under the XVSB ID in the protein data bank, this spike protein is available. As you can see here, the 2019 novel coronavirus spike pro glycoprotein. Here, if you scroll down, you will see the others, the paper that I previously discussed, uh, who have seen the created this image. And uh, here, if you click on the 3D view, you will uh, see the 3D view of the spike protein. And then, if you click on the sequence, uh, you will uh, see the sequence of this uh, and this protein. Here, you can see. Uh, the uh, helicals and the, and the beta sheets etc in the is, uh, sequence in the spike protein of the SARS coronavirus uh, 2. I have already uh, downloaded uh, this uh, protein C and this uh, uh, spike protein structure and uh, saved it as I will show you in a moment. Here, here is as you can see the spike protein, the crystallographic image of the spike protein that I have downloaded the red portion as you can see here this is the RBD domain that I am talking about which is used to bind to the ACE2 receptor of the uh, human uh, cells and let me uh, show you the closer view of this RBD domain here here this is the, the red uh, the red color here is the uh, RBD domain of this uh, spike protein of the SARS coronavirus 2. Yeah, okay, so now uh, let's move on uh, to the vaccine designing as of uh, now. So the first thing that uh, we will uh, talk about is that the ID that I told you about the accession ID of the genome. Uh, I have in, if you have you should uh, place it here in the search bar and select genome. And once you uh, click on the search button, you will see here the different information such as the mm, genome size, the protein, the genes, etc. And then select the protein here. And when you search it, you will get to uh, this page. And here you can see the complete detail of the uh, genome of the SARS coronavirus, such as the accession ID, the base pairs, the size of the genome, single standard RNA, it's linear and it's uh, in onward date it has been uh, uploaded to the uh, database so now let's uh, scroll down into the spike protein that we will be using in this tutorial here you can see the detail of the sp uh, spike glycoprotein its name its protein id and gene id etc and if you click on the um, and if you click on the protein id you will get the uh, sequence so from here i will uh, copy the sequence and paste it in notepad++. The first thing is, as I told you, 
that uh, first we will uh, check the antigenicity of the proteins that we are uh, using and so here I will copy the spike protein and uh, paste it in the Vexigen server the server that I told you will check antigenicity uh, for the protein and uh, as we know that the spike is a surface protein so that parameter is ok and now we will check the antigenicity don't forget to select the virus here so here you will get the results and as you can see that uh, this is the uh, this is probable antigen that means that the epitope is antigenic and uh, we, the protein is antigenic and we can use it for vaccine designing okay so here we will paste the result so that we know that uh, and the protein is antigenic now we will come towards the designing the prediction of the um, CTL epitopes and here uh, you can uh, simply click on the link and you will be reached uh, and you will easily mm, access to the NetCTL 1.2 server and here the rest of the parameters will remain as default but by the sort option will be changed to combined score I will talk about uh, what the combined score is in a few uh, minutes so here after uh, submitting the file you will get the result here you can see the ID of the sequence, the epitope, the affinity score, the affinity rescale score, the tab score and then the combined score. As I told you the combined score, this is here, uh, this is the combined score and you can see uh, E at the end of every line. The E means the epitope. If there is an E at the end that means it is an epitope. But as you can see there is no E at the end of these lines that means that these are not epitopes so here I will select only those lines that have E at the end and then paste it here I have already pasted that uh, the list of these uh, CTL epitopes as you can see here so here the combined score the higher the combined score means the um, high binding affinity towards the MHC class 1 of these uh, epitopes if you click on the shift alt and uh, right and down arrow you will vertically select all of these epitopes so copy the epitopes from here and we will paste it in a new file so here now we are making an input file for the vexigen server so put the greater than sign and then the sequence one this means that I am giving the name sequence one to this epitope and then to the uh, second epi epitope and we will move on to uh, same and same method and uh, we will then save the file I have already done that so I have here the file the 37 mm, CTL epitopes and I have already created this uh, input file for the Vexigen server and we will move on back to the Vexigen server here as I have saved that file mm, the input file that I have made for the Vexigen so here I will select the virus and upload the file that I have saved here you can see this is the input file for Vexigen I will click on it and submit once you submit it you will get the results here as you can see that and some of the epitopes are antigenic and some are non-antigenic as you can see here this epitope is non-antigenic that means that it won't be able to uh, induce immune response while this epitope is antigenic which means that it can uh, induce an immune response so from here I will copy all of these uh, all of the result and paste it in notepad so now what we will do here is that uh, we will uh, remove the uh, we will remove the uh, non antigenic CTL epitopes uh, manually here as you can see I have removed all these uh, non antigenic sequences and uh, made another file for it in the same way done ok so the next uh, step will be a prediction of toxicity so in same method we will uh, remove the non antigenic epitope and select only the antigenic epitope after we have the antigenic epitope we have the same procedure again uh, as we made the input file for the um, uh, uh, in the Vexigen server we will now make the same type of input file but from the 17 antigenic proteins 
uh, for the uh, toxin pred server to check the toxicity of these uh, epitopes so here i will uh, select these uh, copy these epitopes and in google here toxin pred so here we will get to the toxin pred as you can see here click on the toxin pred server and you will enter the server i will uh, provide all the links that you can access to uh, these servers that i am using so here you get the submission uh, box I click on the submission box in paste your sequence of epitopes these are the antigenic epitopes all of these are the antigenic epitopes and run analysis leave all the parameters by default as it is okay so um, i have already uh, done uh, these analysis the toxicity prediction as you can see here uh, i had got only uh, two um, epitopes uh, toxic and that i have removed and now we will and then we will use the non-toxic epitopes the toxic epitopes means that these cannot be used in the same way you have to select uh, these epitopes vertically and uh, copy it from here okay so you can see here in this uh, output result of the uh, of this uh, toxin thread server you can see the two uh, toxic epitopes that i was talking about so I have removed these two toxic epitopes and um, the rest of the epitopes were subjected to the immunogenicity analysis. Here you can access this from Google, the class 1 immunogenicity prediction server. So paste the uh, non-toxic antigenic epitopes here and submit. After you submit, you will, uh, okay, so you will uh, see the result here. Uh, available in the table so click on the download and you will uh, and it will download the results for you i will save it uh, on desktop for easy access okay so one more thing about the immunogenicity server and all other servers that you can get, uh, get these panels here so if you click on the help you will know uh, which format uh, the server is accepting in which format you can uh, place your file and here is uh, you can see uh, all of the details about the server uh, given and here uh, are the result analysis that means the higher uh, the uh, score that means the high uh, highly uh, immunogenic the epitope is so this means that in this output file as you can see this is uh, arranged on the uh, basis of a high uh, score a high immunogenic score here the excel file that i have downloaded the protein and the, uh, and the epitope sequence the length of the epitope and the score of the epitope so here mm, what i am going to tell you about is that uh, in um, coming lectures we will uh, see uh, how um, we will see different parameters we will talk about different parameters of the uh, vaccine one of the parameter uh, is that the one of the parameter is uh, its molecular weight so we will select the epitopes according to molecular weight here we have all these epitopes these are immunogenic and uh, these are uh, non-toxic and these are antigenic out of these we will only select three or two epitopes based on the uh, based on the uh, molecular weight of the complete uh, proteome so you will have to do all of these analysis that i have done for the uh, spike protein for all the surface protein of the uh, virus or you can select any other virus such as HIV or mm, Nipah virus etc and uh, do all these analysis for it and design a B and T cell multi epitopes subunit vaccine for the, uh, de for the virus that you have um, selected so this was the end of our lecture and please don't forget to cite the NetCTL 1.2 server, the IDB server, the Toxin Pred server, the Vexigen server, and at last my paper.